a feeling of madness, of insanity, written and narrated by T. Stash. Do you know the definition of insanity? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. If only that could truly grasp the trueness of what insanity is. There it is again, that maddening feeling, the voice in my head ebbing away at any hope I once had, criticizing Dissatisfied, devouring, gnawing away my arguments of how it's wrong. Reason doesn't apply, for it feels nothing, knows nothing, only to engulf everything. Never will anything be enough when it's around. Never does it truly vanish. Existing, no matter how small, hiding in the back of my mind, waiting so patiently, always knowing when to strike, knowing what to attack, tearing down the foundations of my existence, forcing its way to the forefront of everything, all at once is acknowledgement, never give it that, for it will only want more, until there's nothing left. It wants what I have, to be rid of me, to enjoy a life of their choosing, one in which I don't exist. I feel its grip, forcing onto my mind every thought, every feeling. The chaos of the defiant drains me. Giving in always feels like the better option. I oft question whether it'd be easier to let it win, to become the prisoner to release my responsibilities, to forget it all. Would it be better than accepting death, or just as horrid? I feel my body fighting against my will, and I am so tired now. If I rest now, will I wake as myself? Will I return at all? What happens happens. I've made my choice. The fight exhausts me. I feel nothing left. I only hope when I wake, I'm still me. One Lone Tree by Rebecca Les Brands. Narrated by Just Plain Creepy and Dodgedis82. Kat sat alone on her couch, shoveling popcorn into her mouth. She stared at her TV tied to the suspense of the movie. The sky darkened as the sun approached the horizon. Hidden behind the ocean trees her house lay among. One lone tree stood in the center of her yard, visible through the living room window. A menacing presence filled the area yet to make itself known. Cat was glued to her movie, but still able to catch a glimpse of the black object aimed at her door. <laughs> Cat jumped, startled by unexpected disturbance, spilling the popcorn. What the hell? She whimpered, approaching the door. The doorknob was cold in her hand. Her heart pounded in her chest. The hinges squeaked as the door creaked open. A rush of cold air washed Kat's face as her eyes scanned the dim yard. Nothing could be seen. Nothing made a sound. She slowly shut the door, then cleaned up the popcorn. She had just sat down when another black object hit her door with a louder thud than before. She looked at the tree in the yard, almost certain she saw what threw it. Cat sat there watching the tree, waiting for something to happen. 
It's just some kids. She thought. Nothing to worry about. She quickly made herself comfortable and began to turn on another movie. Minutes passed and another thud shattered the silence, shaking the door. Cat raced for the lock and quickly shut all the blinds. Don't go away. She said but grabbed a knife to calm her nerves and give her a sense of security. She heard light pecking on the living room window. The pecking grew louder, faster. She froze there in place, staring at the windows as the tapping became more profound. She was afraid to go investigate, but brave enough to stand her ground. Her home was small and every hiding place would be too predictable. Besides, she didn't want to hide. She wanted to see it coming instead of cowering in fear. The tapping suddenly stopped. Cat slowly made her way to the door and put her back to it. A shadow eclipsed the light from the window atop the door. She stood just out of sight, holding her breath. With her back pressed against the wood, she could feel it knocking. Three times softly, Cat could hear the galloping beat of her heart in her head. Her anxiety raised to the peak. Three more knocks hit the door, harder this time. Let me in. A hoarse whisper slipped through the door and into Cat's ears. She bit her lips, tears filling her eyes. Another three knocks erupted. Furious now. Let me in! A now angry voice ordered. The knocking didn't cease. It grew harder as the voice grew louder. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! The knocking grew so fierce it could have shattered the door. Tears leaked from her eyes. What should I do? She thought. Should I open the door? The knocking was more than she could bear. I know you're there, cat! It said. Her stomach twisted, her breath caught in her throat, and tears now streamed down her face. Go away! She shouted finally. Let me in! It screamed in response. <laughs> She cried. The voice and the knocking echoed in her head, making her more nauseous than before. Reaching for the lock hesitantly, she sucked up her tears and held her breath. Unlocking the door and throwing it open. Nothing was there. The tree stood in the yard, unmoving. No wind. Nothing. She shut the door, shaking in fear. With the click of the lock, the room grew cold. Goosebumps covered her skin. Thank you for letting me in. A voice whispered behind her. 